Hey, uh, my name is Connor Holleran, and this is Linda Rodriguez, and we work for Greenpeace in Orange County. And we heard about the seismic testing at Diablo Canyon from somebody on the street in San Luis Obispo. Um, a surfer came up to us and asked us, hey, well, you know, what are you guys doing about Diablo Canyon? And we said, hey, we have no idea about what Diablo Canyon is, can, can you tell us what it is a little bit? And he went on to tell us that they're going to be doing sonar testing in the water and how detrimental is the wildlife, the whales, dolphins. Even the surfers wouldn't be allowed in the water for about two months because if they were underwater when the blast went off, their eardrums could pop. So we thought that was one of the most insane things we ever heard, so we brought it back to our office in Orange County. Yeah. And that's how we actually uh, got contact with Facebook because we're actually getting involved in this issue. We found it uh, Joey Rocano, and we talked to him and city coordinator was our boss, Jessica Randolph. She made a few calls to our main offices in D.C. and we got this campaign to become international within nine days. Hi, my name is Joey Ricano. I'm the last remaining director of the California Ocean Outfall Group dedicated to ending waivers of the Clean Water Act. I started the Facebook campaign, uh, Stop the Diablo Canyon Seismic Testing page. pg and &E proposes this fall to survey an area called Fox 4. Existing studies show that sound levels on projects such as this one, are among the very loudest sources of man-made underwater sound that exist, and that these sounds have the potential to disturb, injure, and kill a variety of marine life in and around the survey area. Enough has been known about the dangers of the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant's location uh, to shut it down long ago. The staff is going to give their report, and the staff has come out on our side on this, so it's very good news. Right? So that's awesome. And then PG&E is going to get their report. And that's where, like, a bombshell is going to drop. That's where it'll hit. Right? Hit and it shoots straight up in the air. And that's what seismic energy can do uh, with an actual on faults. So they should have closed this plant down a long time ago. And in fact, it should never have been built on the confluence of 13 earthquake faults. Hi, I'm Steve Ray. I'm executive director of the Banning Ranch Conservancy, which is a project in Orange County. We're trying to save the last large remaining piece of coastal open space in the southern, entire Southern California coast. I'm also a host of the Green Orange, which is a radio show on KOCI Radio 101.5 FM uh, in Orange County, where we talk about environmental and health issues. Of a potential two-phase series of seismic imaging surveys using air guns to study active faults offshore and adjacent to the Diablo Canyon power plant. My name is Brad Snook, I'm the chair of the, uh, of the Surf Rider Foundation in San Luis Obispo. So every 15 seconds for 17 days, we'll have prolonged impacts at 260 decibels, and there's no denying that. We came here also to support the effort to stop the seismic testing by PG&E. Uh, this is, of course, a very critical issue for marine life and marine habitats. Uh, and I'm one of the spokespeople for um, the Coast Alliance. And Coast Alliance stands for citizens opposing the acoustic seismic testing. And that should give you a really good idea of why we're here. We are opposing the PG&E permit to do high intensity acoustic seismic testing on the, the, the central coast of California. And we are here to ask for a, a flat out denial of the permit, no conditions, nada. We don't want to have to come back and do this over and over and over again. And there's plenty of information out there to completely turn it down. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, what, what do you think are some alternatives to this, or what, what do you propose should be done I exactly? Real honestly, I don't think they need alternatives. There's enough information out there right now. I think this is basically a ruse. But if you want to look at what can be done now from a legal standpoint, according to AB 1632, PG&E is mandated to analyze the data that's already there. And they have three years of low intensity testing they haven't even analyzed and put out to the public. So very first, analyze the data they have and then see if testing is necessary. Exactly, great point. And where is your group from um, geographically? Well, the, the Alliance, we have people from all over the United States, Hawaii, even the Kingdom of Atui, but the majority of the associations and the people in the Alliance are from the Central Coast. Then will come public comment, you know. I'm not expecting anything too surprising from PG&E, I'll just keep your ears open, you know. Um, so as far as comment goes, as Joey here said, speak from the heart, that's the one we so well. Hi, I'm 
Alexis Henry from the Surfrider Foundation and we're here today at the California Coastal Commission meeting to urge them to deny PG&E the permit to conduct seismic testing along the central California coastline. To come down to the hearing to voice their support in opposition of the project, but if they can't make it also to write letters into the Coastal Commission, tell them why this project's bad. It's going to harm marine life. It's going to have a recreational impact on surfers, kayakers, scuba divers, anyone who uses the water along the central coast. And it's just ridiculous that we're, we're even having to entertain a hearing like this right now. This hearing is important though because it does set precedent for what could, could potentially happen down at San Francisco. So we want to stop it right now, today, in Santa Monica, so there's no chance to have to revisit all this six months down the road with San Francisco. We are here in solidarity with all these people to tell you that the people of California did not set up a system of marine <coughs> preserves. You guys did this, you know this, so that we could, you know, harm endangered species. I'm sorry that the federal government doesn't want to get involved, but this is really a violation of the Marine Mammal Protection Act and the Endangered Species Act, and this should not be allowed to go forward. And for all that their 40 millions aside, and the Land Commission aside, and the puck aside, the buck stops with you guys, and you know that and your staff came out with an excellent, excellent report, which we 100% back and would go farther and say, no blasting in California, now or ever. I'm out there every day, all day, on the streets, talking to people about global issues, and people are honestly shocked about this. What it becomes to me is an issue of the interest of a corporation versus the interest of a, of a people. A genetically and geographically isolated porpoise population of about 1,400 to 2,000 animals, known as the Morro Bay stock, is found within and just south of the project area. Sacrifice our oceanic <coughs> ecosystems um, and disrupt our offshore balance is not worth the harm on not only animals but as well as people. Um, they did it off the coast of Peru and hundreds of dolphins showed up on the shoreline dead. And I don't want to see that happen to our coast. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're here from Sustainable Works. Um, our oceans are already devastated, overfished, polluted, and now we're going to do seismic testing. It's ridiculous. Uh, and we're here to promote green technology and uh, sustainable living. Allowing any harmful and unnecessary activity is completely wrong and unacceptable. We don't think that PG&E has seen uh, all the different issues that, that could be an impact of the seismic testing. My name is Roxanne Lagunas, I'm from Orange County, and I too oppose the seismic testing. I think it's completely and utterly ridiculous. Once again, I reiterate, our oceans are in trouble. The changes coming to the oceans too with acidification, etc. In this particular case, uh, we feel that there is an underlying theme, uh, and that theme is oil exploration. The type of seismic testing that's been proposed for Diablo Canyon uh, has only been done around the world in the pursuit of oil exploration, and there's very little uh, reason to believe that there's anything different going on here. Hi, my name is Steve Schimmick. I'm the executive director of the Otter Project, and our job is to protect otters. And we're here because we don't think that this project comes close to protecting otters. Hi. My name is Chris. I'm from San Diego and I've come up here to show my support with all these folks. Our oceans don't need any more destruction. Please, we all plead you in this room. Don't allow this to happen. This is in your hands. I want to give my children, I have four teenage children, a better ocean than what was handed to me. As a child growing up in San Diego, we were the tuna capital of the world. Now our oceans are gone. And with this idea of doing seismic testing, it's really going to do a tremendous amount of harm to our oceans. Uh, not only me, i almost every single person in this room, and along with my thousands of friends in the ocean, if they could make it here today, I'm sure they would. Um, they don't have a voice, and they don't have a choice about what's about to happen to them, uh, but we do. And we're all pretty much here in opposition to superfluous testing that's been proven to be fatal in Peru, Washington, the Carolinas, to name a few said that it was a cacophony of voices that forced their hand to do this testing. Well, I guarantee that the cacophony of voices of outraged citizens will be far more louder than that. And I guarantee that the cacophony of coughing, dying whales and dolphins on our beaches will be far more heard. Thank Indeed, you. Although the NRC is requiring all reactor licensees to reevaluate seismic and other hazard risks, at their plants in response to the nuclear disaster in Japan, it has not 
at this time required PG&E to undertake any seismic survey.